The Smyrdan and Mihail Koganlishan classes belong to a currently almost extinct type of naval vessel, the River Monitor. Having such a fleet is unusual these days. Why did the world give up on these riverine warships a long time ago, and why does Romania still possess them? As the weapon detective, we're now investigating the Smyrdan and Mihail Koganlishan classes and seeking answers to these questions. Five Sumerdan and three Mihail Koganlishan class river monitors make Romania the country with the most powerful navy on the Danube. For some, these vessels belonging to the 67th Artillery Carrying Ships Division of the Danube Flotilla of the Romanian Naval Forces are key assets in the region. In contrast, for others, they are merely relics. The origin story of the Sumerdan and Mihail Koganlishan classes dates back to the 1970s. When the 1973 oil crisis caused oil prices to increase fivefold, Romanian oil revenues similarly rose. Nicolae Ceausescu decided to allocate some of this money to establish a substantial naval force that included battle cruisers, frigates, and various other ships, all designed and built locally. The Romanian Danube Flotilla, which was once the most powerful river fleet in the world until the Second World War, also had its share in this plan. Between 1973 and 1977, this country constructed 18 VB-76 class riverine boats. In the late 1980s, toward the end of his rule, Ceausescu ordered the design of new river monitors. One of them was the Smyrdan class. The first vessel, Grivza, was commissioned on November 21, 1986. Defined as the Brutar 1 class by NATO, she is now decommissioned. Romania still operates five river monitors, known by their NATO reporting name as the Brutar II class. The first vessel of this class, Rahova, was commissioned on September 11, 1987. The final, Rovine, joined the fleet in 1993. The Romanian Danube Flotilla officially classifies them as armored river patrol boats. Like a typical river monitor, the Smyrdan class has a wide, smooth-decked hull with low sides. The hull and superstructure are armored. The vessel with a 5-day endurance carries a rubber boat for various missions, including liaison with other ships and shores, intervention, disembarkation and rescue. It has the I-band R722 navigation radar. According to the official website of the Romanian Naval Forces, the complement of the Smyrdan class is 41 people. The ship has a length of 44.5 meters, a beam of 8 meters and a drought of 1.3 meters. Its displacement is 322 tons. Three 1,200 horsepower Type 12 Boxer diesel engines enable a top speed of 16.7 knots. The monitor has a range of 270 nautical miles, in other words, 500 kilometers. Although it was initiated in the 1980s as a part of its grand plan, the construction of the follow-up Mihail Koganlishan class began after the overthrow of the communist dictator Nicolae Ceausescu. Unlike the Smyrdan class, the Romanian Danube Flotilla officially classifies the three vessels of this class as river monitors. Some sources mention that its NATO reporting name is Brutar III class. However, the use of this definition is quite rare. The first ship, Mihail Koganlishan, was commissioned on December 19, 1993. The last, Laskar Katarji, joined the fleet in 1996. The Mihail Koganlishan class features a similar design to the earlier Smyrdan class. However, it differs by including a 7-day endurance, armored covers to shield the bridge windows during action, an extended superstructure, and the I-band Pechora navigation radar. According to the official website of the Romanian Naval Forces, the complement of the Mihail Koganlishan class is 53 people. The ship has a length of 52 meters, a beam of 9 meters, and a drought of 1.72 meters. Its displacement is 522 tons. Two 2,200 horsepower 24H165 RINS diesel engines enable a top speed of 17.3 knots. The monitor has a range of 540 nautical miles, in other words, 1,000 kilometers. All guns are manually operated. All these weapon systems have been either designed and produced locally or manufactured under license in Romania. 
The Simurdan and Mihail Koganlichan classes are equipped with one and two 100mm A43 O guns, respectively. Based on the M1977 towed anti tank weapon, the A43O is housed in an armored turret and has a maximum range of 16.8 km and a rate of fire of 7 to 15 rounds per minute. Its elevation and depression angles range from minus 5 to plus 37 degrees. The Simurdan and Mihail Kogalnichan classes are equipped with one and two 30mm twin barrel Model 1980 anti aircraft guns, respectively. Each A436 automatic cannon of the Model 1980 is fed from a box type magazine holding 30 rounds of ammunition. Its maximum cyclic rate of fire is 600 rounds per minute and it can be elevated and depressed between minus 5 and plus 85 degrees. The anti aircraft gun, effective at altitudes of up to 3500 meters, can be used against aerial targets with a maximum speed of up to 300 meters per second. Its slant range is 4100 meters. The model 1980 is also effective against lightly armored and unarmored ground targets at ranges of 1000 and 2000 meters, respectively. The Simurdan and Mihail Koganlishan classes are equipped with two ZPU 4 anti aircraft guns each featuring four KPV machine guns. The barrels can be depressed and elevated between minus 10 degrees and plus 90 degrees, with each gun having a theoretical rate of fire of 600 rounds per minute. However, it can practically deliver around 150 rounds per minute to the target, taking into account cooling and replacement times. The ZPU-4 has an effective range of 2000 meters and an effective altitude of 1400 meters. The Simurdan class also features two turrets, each equipped with one KPV and one PKT machine gun, identical to those used on the TAB-77 armored personnel carrier. The 7.62mm PKT has a rate of fire of 700 to 800 rounds per minute and an effective firing range of 1000 meters. Both weapons can be elevated and depressed between minus 5 and plus 85 degrees. The Simurdan and Mihail Koganlishan classes are equipped with two 122mm 40 barrel APRN 122 multiple rocket launchers. The 122mm rocket, featuring a 6.35kg explosive in the warhead, has a maximum range of 20km. At this distance, a full salvo of 8 rockets covers an area of 420,000 square meters. The launchers are hydraulically retracted into the platform when not in use. The Simurdan and Mihail Koganlichan classes carry four and 32 single-channel passive infrared homing CA-94Ms, respectively. The manpads, featuring a 1.17 kg high-explosive smooth fragmentation warhead with contact and grazing fusing, is the Romanian licensed production version of the Strela 2M. The CA-94M's optimal engagement aspect against jet aircraft and drones moving at speeds of up to 260 meters per second is a pursuit flight profile. For propeller-driven aircraft and helicopters, which can reach speeds of up to 150 meters per second, a head-on engagement is also possible. With an average cruising speed of Mach 1.47, the missile is effective against receding and approaching aerial targets at ranges of 4200 and 2800 meters, respectively. Its minimum effective range is 800 meters and its effective altitude is between 30 and 2,300 meters. We should note that in 2020, the Simurdan and Mihail Koganlichan classes underwent limited modernization, including the addition of new engines, navigation systems, radar, and forward-looking infrared sensors. Therefore, some of the listed equipment may be updated, but we could not confirm any changes. The origins of the Romanian Danube flotilla date back to the 14th century when Mircea the Elder established a river fleet to counter Ottoman raids and invasion forces. Uniting the river forces of Moldovia and Wallachia in 1860 is recognized as its rebirth. This flotilla successfully fought in the Russo-Turkish War of 1877-1878, also known as the War of Independence in Romania, and participated in two world wars. In fact, the river monitors were once essential elements in the battles around the Danube. The Austro-Hungarian vessel Bodrog fired the first shots of the First World War at the city of Belgrade. During the same war, the Romanian Bretiano class river monitors did not engage enemy ships, however, they supported ground forces during the Battle of Turtukaya and the First Battle of Kobaden 
and also participated in the 1917 campaign, which helped slow down the enemy advance. In 1924, Romanian vessels assisted in suppressing the Tatarbunari uprising. Some Romanian sources claim that the old Mihail Koganishan, not the current one, forced at least two Soviet monitors to retreat by damaging them in 1941. However, the Second World War demonstrated the vulnerability of monitors to enemy aircraft and field artillery, and most importantly, to the rapid maneuvers of enemy mechanized units. Consequently, many nations ceased operating them. On the other hand, the wet and soft soil of the Danube Delta, divided by numerous water obstacles, remained a challenging environment for the operations of motorized and mechanized units. Therefore, the river monitors continues to hold value in the region. Originating in Germany, the Danube flows for 2,850 kilometers, passing through or bordering Austria, Slovakia, Hungary, Croatia, Serbia, Romania, Bulgaria, Moldova, and Ukraine. Many of its tributaries are significant rivers in their own right, navigable by barges and other shallow draft boats. The Danube, which spans a vast area that is nearly impossible to fully control, poses significant security concerns for many countries and is also one of the most crucial trade routes in Europe. Some shipping companies operating on the river complain of regular pirate attacks, more accurately referred as river robberies, on their commercial vessels along the Serbian and Romanian stretches of the Danube. This vast, extremely difficult to control area is also vulnerable to migration, smuggling of dangerous goods, terrorist acts and infiltration by special forces from a country intent on challenging the current status quo. Furthermore, securing or preventing attempts to cross the river is also vital to the military strategies of the armies in the region. Therefore, not only Romania but also other riparian states such as Austria, Hungary, Serbia and Ukraine operate sizable riverine fleets. However, these four lack a vessel classified as a river monitor. The new menace, the drones, has indeed become a significant threat to such vessels. Nevertheless, in war scenarios involving securing or preventing a river crossing attempt, all other elements of an army face the same problem. River monitors are not more vulnerable than the others, on the contrary, their firepower is quite promising. Romania, which also operates river patrol boats, minesweepers, is one of the only two countries that maintain river monitors in their inventories. The other is Brazil. However, the old Amparneva functions as a patrol vessel rather than a warship. The vessels, most similar in design to the Smirdan and Mihail Koganichan classes, are the Project 1208 Yaz, Project 1248 Musket, and Project 1204 Shmil class patrol boats of the Russian border guards. The first two serve on the Amur River, while the last one also patrols on the Danube's tributaries in Russia and Ukraine. Yet, we should reiterate that they are classified as river patrol boats, not river monitors, although they share a similar design, capabilities and firepower. Therefore, these two countries are not members of the club of river monitor owners. Yes, almost all nations have given up on river monitors since the Second World War, but Earth is not a planet with uniform characteristics everywhere. The unique geographical areas still require a special type of vessel. According to our analysis, the Simurdan and Mihail Koganishan classes are not relics, but rather sensible solutions for Romania. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.